All right, here we go. Pato should be here. Oh my God, here he is. Look at the card. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot22 team off with a bang? Head over to moolfactory.com for the cheapest, most safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order and get yourself some Foot coins to boost your team right now. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are here for another player review slash trying out the player kind of video. And today we have got an incredible one. This guy is an absolute FIFA legend and actually kind of a legend in his own right. I mean, the guy has been around football, I feel like for ages and he's only literally like 32 years of age, which is absolutely ridiculous. So today I thought, you know what? We've got to try this card out. I mean, let's actually, first of all, look at this card. I guess that's probably the first thing we should do. So this is his on card face stats. He's sitting at 91 pace, 90 dribbling, 87 shooting, 40 defending, 80 passing and 82 physical with also a high low work rate and also four star four star so already this card is looking absolutely promising like i always like to do in the last few reviews we've done i'd like to choose the top three from the on card stats and also the attributes so on card stats first my favorite three i think they're pretty damn obvious for this card the 91 pace the 90 dribbling and the 87 shooting they are definitely without a shadow of a doubt the best three stats on his on card stats moving on to his attributes these are his attributes for his cards he's sitting at 90 acceleration and 92 sprint speed then 91 attacking position 87 finishing 90 shot power 83 long shots 82 volleys and 87 penalties and on the passing he's got 77 vision 80 crossing 81 free kick accuracy 87 short pass 61 long pass and 94 curve onto the dribbling stats 96 agility 82 balance 85 reactions 92 ball control 88 dribbling and 88 composure defending we don't obviously care about bar the heading accuracy which is 86 which is actually very very solid and then onto the physical he's sitting at 94 jumping which is good for headers 80 stamina which is meh not the greatest i'm not gonna lie 86 strength and then 73 aggression so like i said uh the stamina is definitely one of the standout features that don't look the greatest uh, in my personal opinion i mean kind of lets the card down i don't know how long he's gonna last probably last the full 90 minutes but obviously we don't really talk about that we choose our top three favorite attributes for the card the first one that comes to my mind is the 94 curve i mean that is very good considering like how good finesse shots are this year and still probably actually are as well like, i'd say that's very good so 94 curve is in my top three for sure next up i'm gonna go with the 94 jumping i mean he's sitting at what's his height five foot nine but with 94 jumping and also 86 heading accuracy i expect this guy to still put headers away like if he put some crosses in i think this guy could actually win some and hopefully head some goals in that's what we're hoping we're definitely gonna have to try some headers out as well and then the third and final stat i'm gonna go with the 90 shot power very very good shot power he should be putting away most shots when we get especially in the box so they're the three top stats for me today from the flashback pato card i actually now need to go ahead and complete him so let's do that i mean i don't even know what the price is currently we're seeing an 83 rate with the team in the week needed 80 chemistry they send an 84 rated squad and then also an 85 rated squad so not too bad so let me go ahead and complete the card then i'll be back with you guys and then we can get into using this card out and i cannot wait all right here we go we're completing the last spc for pato so when we submit this it should be all done and we should have a hands on flashback pato oh my god i am still so excited for this card i can't lie there we go though the card is now ours so let's check him in our squad and then let's give him a go i cannot wait oh baby flashback pato with no game face wait where's pato's game face gone I swear he used to have one okay so onto the team we are putting pato into today we have got Lloris in goal klaus at right back Ferdinand's right center back left center back is phil jones left back is then teo hernandez left center mid we have then ibra central center mid is essien right center mid is our right wing we then have Vigo. striker is obviously mr pato and left wing is mr prime ryan giggs i point out as well we're actually doing a flashback to the AC Milan link up between Ibra and Pato. That is just beautiful music to my ears. It's a pretty interesting team. I mean, we've got two wingers that could definitely cross the ball in. Like I said, I want to test Pato's heading definitely in this if we can. So that is one task I definitely want to do. But the team overall is pretty damn solid. I mean, it should be pretty fun to try. We're going to go ahead and play a champs qualification game yet because I actually need to qualify for champs. So that makes sense to go into that. Also, we need a chemistry style for Pato. I haven't decided which one to go with yet, but I think I'm going to go with Hawk. You know, increase the shooting a little bit more, pace a little bit more and also his physicality so that's the one we're gonna put on pato that, now that's just done it's time to try this card out that's what we're here for let's get into it and let's see what pato can do all right here we go opponent number one's team for pato okay it's not the greatest team i'm not gonna lie i feel like pato has a good chance here of getting his debut goal but you never know you know don't judge the team judge the player all right come on let's do this pato please i i've been excited for this card all week after seeing it being leaked please don't let me down here we go ball to pato his first touch for the club what can he do here with the heel 
Can he get past Van Dyke? He does. Across goal. Oh my God. What a finish. Pato, one minute into the game. But, uh, sorry, heel to heel. And a finish across goal. That is disgusting. That was a brilliant finish. Knocks that ball into Pato. That is a brilliant ball. Pato here. He's got a bit of space. He's got past Varane here. Going to go for the dink over the keeper. Oh my God. Surely not. Oh, whiskers wide of the post. And Pato's on the edge. Bang that across goal. Alessandro Pato. What a save from Allison again. Here we go. Pato on the break. Maybe. He's got one defender to beat here. Can he get past him? He got the night one pace, but the defender's done well to keep up. That's a brilliant fake shot. Oh, what a ball across the Ebra. That is a beautiful assist from Minister Alexandra Pato. That is beautiful. I mean, the, the stop fake shot to the ball across. Like, the ball across was perfect. 2-0, sorry, and he's been involved in both goals. Here we go. Our Ibra. Knock a ball through. Pato's through here. Come on. Alexandra Pato for the chip, the dink. Oh, that is a beautiful dink. 3-0, two goals, and an assist. Up to Figo. Come on, Figo. We need a good ball in here. Can we get a good crossing? Early cross to the front post. Pato across goal. Oh, Allison is incredible at saving them kind of shots. Pato across goal. Oh, <laughs> the luck. Oh, the AO block comes in and actually doesn't benefit the guy. That's another goal for the man. Biggs, nice. Pato on the finesse. Alexandra Pato. Oh, my God. That was a brilliant finesse, but off the post. Ibra still got it. Swear that across. And Figo to finish it. Oh my god, though. That finesse was literally this far away. That is ridiculous. Good turn. Absolutely sent him there. What a ball over from Pato as well, that is. Can Giggsy feed him back in? Maybe not. So I decided to pause it around about the 75th minute. And as you can see, Pato's uh, stamina isn't looking the greatest. I mean, he's still feeling all right in game, but not the greatest look on the stamina. So I do feel like he's going to kind of give away near the 85th minute. But we'll see. We'll see what he's feeling like then. Pato, can he put him through? He might be offside there. He might be offside. He's not. Ibra is not offside. Over. Oh, you know what? I've been extremely impressed with Pato's passing in this game. I can't lie. His passing has been absolutely brilliant. Like, I think it's literally, what was it, sitting at 80? With no standout passing attribute stats either. I think his passing, honestly, is actually underrated on this card compared to how it actually feels in game and well there we go game one done so far key standout points for me i think his finishing was very very good his passing was really good like better than what i was expecting and also his dribbling his dribbling feels absolutely incredible so we're gonna play another game i feel like we got a lot out of him in that game so let's play one more game and let's see what we think after that all right opponent number two let's see what we're facing okay an interesting team, this one. This is actually a lot more, like, different compared to what we just played. Let's see what Pato can do here. Hopefully, he can impress just like he did the last game. Like, four goals and two assists. It was pretty ridiculous. Figo into Pato now. Pato, here we go. What can he do here? He's going to carry the ball forward. Figo's on the on the wide. That's another perfect ball there. And that is a finish. What an assist again. Genuinely, the passing is absolutely ridiculously impressed me. I can't lie. It's been brilliant. Nice hour. Pato. Four all to finesse. Oh, there we go. There's the finesse. The 94 curve we were looking for. Nice finish, Pato. Okay. Ibra. Feed him. Feed Pato. Good touch. Gets away from the defender. Can he skin the other one? Oh, my God. The lacquer cat. Across goal. Oh, from the kickoff. That was absolutely beautiful. Dribbles past one defender. Absolutely accelerates past them. Lacquer to the finish across goal. Oh, that was disgusting. Go on then, Pato. Over the top. Oh, that is a beautiful ball. If he can get to that. That is a beautiful ball again honestly the passing is ridiculous and i don't know how the keeper didn't save it but still we'll take it All right is this guy gonna quit yeah he did i thought that was gonna happen just then i can't lie but honestly after playing that amount of games like them two games i think i've already had enough to kind of realize what i think of this card all right let's head back to fifa let's put the card on the screen and let's summarize this review up okay so now to summarize the review honestly absolutely love this card it's kind of it's definitely i think lived up to what i wanted it to be i mean the stats already show you enough like how good this card should be i mean i actually tried out muriel's showdown yesterday and i wasn't the biggest fan but then you try out this card and honestly he is like 10 times better in my opinion the way he played in the game he was absolutely incredible his finessing was really good i mean we scored that really nice finesse and missed that one that just hit the post we didn't get to try out the head in as much i don't know if he's going to be that great maybe if he's in a bit more space because of how tall defenders are nowadays and like how strong they are i mean five at nine he's not the tallest but he does have good jumping but sadly we didn't score a header but the thing that definitely most impressed me which i've probably repeated so many times through the clips that you've probably seen from the gameplay his passing was absolutely incredible i mean as you can see two games five goals four assists 
The guy put in shifts on the ball, passing to other players. I think 80 passing is a myth. Like, that should be like 88 plus. Like, he felt ridiculously good at passing. His agility definitely stood out for me as well. His shot power, his finishing was very, very good. His acceleration to get away from defenders. Honestly, overall, if I was to give this card a rating, I'm going to put this as like an 8.5 to like a 9. Maybe even higher just because of like, what is it? 83, 84, 85. The only thing that I guess kind of brings this card down is actually trying to link him into a team. Luckily, as you saw from my team, I actually have all icons that actually he links to. But obviously, not everyone can actually manage to do that. So that's the only thing that might bring this card down to like an 8.5. I think that's like the minimum I can go because it's a throwback. He just feels so good in game. Honestly, I couldn't recommend this card enough. Even if you want him as a super sub, and you can't fit him in your team, get this card. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to use this card in the weekend league this weekend. Okay, so there we go. That kind of wraps up the flashback Alessandra Pato review. Honestly, a brilliant, brilliant card in my opinion from the couple of games I've played. I know it's only a couple, but still, I feel like you only need a couple, maybe three games to really tell what a card is like. And I absolutely loved it. But yeah, if you guys have tried out the card, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And also, do you think the value of him is good or bad? But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.